big plans. I'm going to Costco. Selling everything from hot dogs to furniture, it seems Costco really has it all. However, some things don't stick around. Here are 10 Costco items members desperately want back. I miss them. Polish sausage. Did somebody order sausage? Everyone who's anyone knows the joys of biting into a Costco hot dog after a long shopping trip. A large hot dog paired with a fountain drink and a small plethora of condiments for just $1.50? Have they never raised the price since its introduction in 1985? Costco actually loses money on every hot dog they sell. Even though Costco loses money each time they sell a hot dog, they are using the item to lure in buyers to the store. Let's be real, when's the last time someone went to Costco for a hot dog and actually came out of the store empty-handed? It's a trap! While the Costco hot dog is truly iconic, it's a wonder why the company no longer offers its culinary relative the Polish sausage. Food court fanatics across the country have expressed their love for this flavorful frankfurter and dearly want Costco to put it back on menus across their locations. Even though the item is similar to its hot dog counterpart, the Polish sausage was smokier and flavored with garlic, which attracted those who dared to add a little more flavor to their food court experience. Facebook pages and fan blogs have marveled over the audacity Costco had in removing this beloved item from their lineup. Some fans of the Polish sausage even claim that it was the single best item offered at the Costco food court. Vanilla ice cream bars dipped in chocolate. Comes in chocolate, comes in vanilla. Me, I'm a vanilla man. Frozen desserts have been a huge hit among most Costco members, and it's easy to see why. The creamy and decadent frozen treats come in huge portions and are available for a great price. Over at the food court, the only real thing missing from Costco's frozen dessert options is something covered in chocolate. This hasn't always been the case, though. Up until recently, Costco offered what many shoppers described as the world's best ice cream bar. Vanilla ice cream on a stick dipped in chocolate chocolate and crunchy almonds had many shoppers longing for their next trip to the food court to satisfy their sweet tooth. I'm going in. While Costco hasn't officially said why they removed this beloved item from their menu, various news sources have claimed that rising dairy and almond costs may have made the ice cream bar unfeasible to keep on board. Many fans of this creamy creation aren't happy with the way that Costco decided to get rid of their favorite food court treat and stated that they would gladly pay double the price to have their beloved ice cream bar back. The Barbecue Beef Brisket Sandwich I want that sandwich! Another extremely popular Costco food court menu option, the barbecue beef brisket sandwich has been sorely missed by barbecue lovers and Costco members all over the nation. Not only was the brisket sandwich packed full of high-quality brisket meat, but was also topped with a tangy barbecue sauce and creamy coleslaw. The perfect sandwich for those wishing for a hearty meal, the barbecue beef brisket sandwich was a well-balanced flavor explosion for shoppers taste buds. Although you can no longer purchase a barbecue beef brisket sandwich from the Costco food court, the store offers refrigerated alternatives as well as coleslaw, barbecue sauce, and sandwich buns, so diehard fans can try to replicate it at home. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Try as they might, most people would agree that there is no replacement for the unique and tangy Costco food court barbecue beef brisket sandwich. Sandwich. Cinnamon sugar pretzels. Boy, these pretzels are making me thirsty. These buttery and salt sprinkled twists of dough have been a massive hit with snack lovers everywhere. A few years back, Costco realized that the love of pretzels was too strong to ignore and started crafting their own version for sale in the food court. When unveiled, the Costco pretzel was an instant hit. Well, I like pretzel day. Dusted with a mouth-watering combo of cinnamon and sugar, the Costco pretzels had hungry shoppers hooked the moment they took a bite. Like most discontinued items, Costco swiftly removed the pretzel from their food courts one day without giving members a reason as to why. Scrolling through message boards and Costco fan pages, you'll find countless posts mentioning the cinnamon sugar pretzels. Some posters have even gone as far as to say that Costco removing the pretzels and replacing 
replacing them with churros was the worst mistake Costco ever made. Again, without a real reason from Costco as to why they removed the beloved pretzels, we can only guess as to what their motivation was. Rising food costs, of course, could have been the issue with keeping this item on the menu, especially since they were replaced with a similar cinnamon sugar-coated treat that comes in a smaller form. Whatever Costco's reason to remove their cinnamon sugar pretzels, it created a wave of disappointment that can be felt all throughout their members' hearts. Combo Pizza Pizza time. Costco pizza may be the single most popular item that the company sells. The pizza has been a staple in Costco's food courts and can even be ordered ahead of time for pickup. Whether it be by the slice or the whole pie, pizza lovers can rejoice in their cheap and delicious food court purchase. Although Costco sells more pizza than the average person can fathom, they continue to put out high quality slices that rival that of even the most popular restaurants. It's the best pizza in the neighborhood. With such a massive Massive following behind Costco's pizza, one would think that members wouldn't have anything ill to say about the limited options when it comes to toppings. After all, Costco isn't an actual pizza restaurant. The problem, however, lies in the discontinuation of the Combo Pizza, a favorite menu item since its introduction. The generous mix of veggies, pepperoni, and sausage made the Combo Pizza an instant winner among many of the patrons that frequented the food court. Unfortunately, for many pizza lovers, Costco decided that it was in their best interest to remove the overloaded pizza from their menus. Today, the many people that flock to Costco for their pizza fix can only choose between cheese and pepperoni slices instead of the meaty and veggie-filled combo pizza. As you can imagine, this change really upset a lot of devout Costco pizza connoisseurs who were looking for something with a little more variety. In fact, the combo pizza was such a hit that you can find entire posts, fan pages, and petitions to bring the combo slice back. While the choice to remove the pizza was said to have taken place due to the company wanting to simplify their menu, it pulled at the heartstrings of many pizza fans and has left a bad taste in some shoppers' mouths. Even though it doesn't look like the combo pizza will ever come back to Costco food courts, members can still take solace in the fact that the pepperoni and cheese options are still available and cheap as ever. Show your support by hitting that like button. We do appreciate it. Now, let's keep going. The show goes on! All-American chocolate cake. Hey, where's that chocolate cake? This immensely dense and delicious chocolate dessert was one of Costco's more expensive food items, priced at $16.99. Members were still getting their money's worth with multiple pounds of decadent chocolate. The cake itself was no ordinary dessert either. Incredibly thick and full to the brim with layers of chocolate, the all-American chocolate cake wasn't a friend of many dietitians. If you were to sit down and eat the entire cake by yourself, you'd be looking at a staggering 13,000 calories of pure chocolatey goodness. While many people probably weren't consuming an entire cake by themselves, a slice or two wasn't going to be the best for you, as this cake was loaded with sugar. It's too much! It's too much! Even with the massive amount of calories, sugar, and carbs that made up this chocolate cake, Costco members weren't too excited when the cake was discontinued. With the global pandemic putting a stop to many of the parties and events that would call for a giant chocolate cake, it seemed as though this was a good move on the part of the Costco team. Just like the combo pizza, when Costco discontinued the all-American chocolate cake, more than a few online petitions started to circulate on social media in an effort to bring the cake back. Even though some of these online petitions amassed thousands of signatures, it doesn't look like Costco will be bringing back the all-American chocolate cake anytime soon. Kirkland's Signature American Cheese Nobody can eat as much cheese as I can! Coming in at a whopping five pounds, the Costco American Cheese packed enough dairy power to fulfill anyone's cheese cravings. Without the cheese slices being individually wrapped, the 120 slices of American cheese created much less plastic waste than most other brands. Compared to other American cheeses, the Kirkland Signature American cheese outperformed all other brands in terms of taste and value. Not even close. The cheese was also notably less processed
best tasting and melted better than other brands, making it the best option for burgers or grilled cheese sandwiches. While you can still find Kraft brand American cheese at Costco, you no longer have the option to stick with Costco's in-house brand, Kirkland. While the cheese's disappearance may not be as monumental as that of the Polish sausage or combo pizza, loyal Costco shoppers everywhere felt the pain of no longer having access to their favorite American cheese. Although the item could have been removed from stores for any reason, the fact that Kraft brand American cheese replaced it makes one think that Costco and Kraft have created some sort of cheese alliance. Kirkland Signature Light Beer Non-alcoholic beer, yeah. Some people may find it surprising that Costco used to sell their own light beer, but Costco's Kirkland brand seems to span almost every type of product that has ever existed. Even though taste testers weren't the biggest fans of the beer, many shoppers found the beer an incredible value due to it costing less than 50 cents per can. The beer was also a good option for drinkers who were looking to keep their calorie intake under control. At just 105 calories per can, Kirkland's signature light beer had fewer calories than many other competing brands. Even with some negative reviews from critics, Costco's light beer was not actually that bad compared to other brands. Without being able to load up on light beer from Costco's Kirkland brand, shoppers have had to resort back to the normal light beers that everyone knows. Frat boys around the world must have cried out in pain when the decision came to finally remove the beer from shelves. No! God, please, no! No! At just $22 for a 48-pack of beer, the value was truly unbeatable. Gelato from the food court. You're under arrest for veganity violation. Gelato isn't vegan. If you've been a Costco member for a while, you may remember a time when Costco was selling gelato in their food courts. The store not only offered freshly made gelato, but did so in three distinct flavors. Mixed berry, stracciatella, and pistachio were all heavily loved and could even be combined in one cone. For just $1.50, shoppers would receive three scoops of their favorite flavors in a waffle cone. Good luck getting that kind of deal on gelato anywhere else. Else. It's cheaper. While Costco members are no longer able to get gelato at their local store, Costco still offers a variety of frozen dairy treats to choose from, although many are still clamoring for its return. Kirkland Signature Body Soap. Ooh. Lemon Verbena. It's a little surprising that a soap being discontinued could cause such a public outcry, but Kirkland fans are really dedicated to the products they love. After Costco pulled the soap from their shelves, keyboard warriors all over the internet took to the web to discuss their love for the soap. Having been made of high-quality ingredients, the soap was superior to many other brands, according to most Costco shoppers. The decision to remove the product from circulation came down to the soap having a very strong scent. And also, you always smell just a little bit like vanilla. That's my soap. Costco actually sent out postcards to members detailing why they were going to discontinue the body soap before it left shelves, and cited the strong odor as the reason for doing so. Although you can still buy other brands of body soap from Costco, many shoppers still miss the Kirkland brand. There's always a chance that Costco could bring the soap back in the future with a modified formula, so Costco soap lovers still may have some hope. Gotta stay optimistic. <laughs> You know? Got a Costco favorite you miss? Let us know. Then tap or click on another great video. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.